Smitty on the track. Hey! Be sure to hit that subscribe button, like and share this video. Make sure you hit that notification bell so that you can get more up-to-date videos. Welcome to Candid Conversations, the spot where we get our tea directly from the source. So my YouTube channel came about from, um, like I said, the rap battles with Rashad and um, the bedtime stories. So I also have something on my channel called bedtime stories, bedtime stories with Miss Smith. And those ones came about, I live on Elusa, like I said, but I have two incredible nephews, uh, nine and four. And I just wasn't around to read them stories. And I wanted to, um, because my sister, who is an incredible hard worker, um, full-time college student, full-time um, employee, um, was just busy. And she would come home late sometimes and didn't have time to, like, like when she got home, like, they would already be sleeping and whatnot. And it was like, how do I incorporate literacy into these boys' lives? Especially because boys are the group of people that really don't like to read. Um, so how do I incorporate literacy into their lives in a significant way? And I started Miss Smith's Bedtime Stories. And so it's for DJ and Danny. But I welcome other children to listening to it as well. Especially when parents are busy and they can't read to their kids. Reading to children is so important. Um, it models reading. It helps them to imagine things, especially when they are pretty young. Um, and so, if you have a child, then find the, the Bedtime Story playlist and let your kids listen to it. They'll enjoy it. Um, yeah, that's it. Well, I've been teaching for five... Oh, no, sorry. <laughs> I'm going on my seventh year of teaching. Um, so, I've been teaching for six full years. Um, I graduated from COB in 2014 and I hit the ground running as an English teacher since then. Well, my routine pretty much, so my daily routine is to wake up. Um, I'm not a big breakfast person and I know that that's not the best way to be. Um, so I supplement my breakfast, the official plate of food, um, sometimes with a smoothie or I would drink a cup of coffee or a cup of tea. And I think for me, one of my quick go-to breakfast dishes are, um, is granola and yogurt with some fresh fruit. I could eat that every day. Yeah, it's quick, easy. As it relates to Bahamian breakfast, my favorite Bahamian breakfast is stew fish. Stew fish with a Johnny cake. Or a nice hot piping bowl of grits. That's my favorite breakfast. So anyway, <laughs> back to the question. After I eat, um, after I make breakfast, sometimes my breakfast is on the go or I have the luxury of eating it at home. Um, I work. I work a lot. I like to work. I work on a lot of different projects. I work on a lot of different things, personal and um, job related. I like planning my lessons for, you know, for the week or for the next day, planning my activities, getting those things together. I try to be as organized as possible um, so that I know what I'm doing and I'm giving and delivering to students the, the best quality of work that I can deliver. Is that always the case? No. But for the most part, I try to do my best. Um, hobbies. So, currently I've been dabbling in a few other hobbies, um, other, outside of my regular ones, which is pretty much working, <laughs> reading, writing, things like that. I've been pushing my comfort zone a little bit. I've started gardening, so I have a little garden. I grew these lovely sunflowers behind me. And so it was pretty, I felt pretty proud being able to go out into my garden, clip my sunflowers, put them in a vase, and have them starring in the background. And um, I've been practicing Spanish. 
Pablo Espanol un poco. I'm not sure if I said that right, but hey. Uh -huh. And um, yeah, I've been practicing my Spanish. I've been using Duolingo and several other resources that have been made available to me, whether it's a Spanish speaking person. Um, I've been on a, an app called Tandem and um, any any avenue I've been utilizing the caption on movies um listening to spanish and listening to spanish music reading spanish texts and things like that um and it's been pretty good i i think i have quite a bit of sentences under my belt where i can have a little bit of a conversation um there are some times when i get stuck on things that I want to say, like I make it only so far in my sentence and I'm like, I want to say all of this, but I don't know how. Um, but I'm still going to keep at it. I'm hoping to be fluent eventually, sometime soon. And then I would like to spend a summer in a Spanish speaking country. Uh, another habit for me is baking. I enjoy baking for my family and I enjoy trying new dishes. And with the COVID-19 thing, um, it really was diversifying our meals, especially since we were in quarantine and in our homes all day, every day. It was, it got to the point where we got tired of eating the same thing over and over. And so I've been doing a lot of experimenting in the kitchen. So I've been baking a lot. I've made donuts from scratch, blueberry muffins, uh, strawberry muffins. I've been baking brownies and all sorts of things. All sorts of things. I even made Jamaican beef patty, Jamaican vegetarian patty. It's been a journey and my family enjoys it and it's pretty good. I've made egg rolls or spring rolls. I did not realize it was not that complex. Um, and they taste pretty good. Um, what do I do in my spare time? In my spare time, I work. <laughs> well, I work doing things that I love doing. And those things include creating my YouTube videos or writing my songs. Writing in general. I'm writing a book. I'm working on a book. Miss Malcolm, you had that? I'm working on a book. I'm working on a children's book, um, and the purpose of the book is to celebrate Bahamian culture and to recognize the components of Bahamian culture that makes us Bahamian and why we are such a unique people. Um, and the book is a collection of short stories. Um, actually, is more than a collection of short stories because in the book I wanted to expose students to different genres of literature, different varieties, different formats is the correct word, different formats of literature. So I wanted to give some prose, some poetry, um, and things like that. And it centered around two main characters, Mimi and Suki. <laughs> and you'll learn more about that later. Um... And other than that, I read. I love reading. I enjoy reading. It's one of my favorite things to do. I think that literacy and reading is, well, same thing. That's redundant. Um, <laughs> takes you around the world. And when you're reading, like, for example, I had my first blueberry muffin in my imagination. You know, because I read a book where the main character was a baker and she owned a little cafe and she made the most amazing blueberry muffins and I had to have it. And so I went to an ice cream parlor around where I used to live and I saw blueberry muffins on the menu and I had to have one and I bought a blueberry muffin and it was the most delicious thing that I ever had in that moment and since then I became hooked to blueberry muffins I would go to the store every other day and buy four of them they were like 250 each and so I would buy my blueberry muffins and enjoy them at home after warming them for about a few seconds in the microwave yeah man
make sure you subscribe to my channel like and share this video and comment below i look forward to hearing from you if you need to reach me please shoot me an email at readingroom242 at gmail.com if you are a teacher making waves in the field of education or you have your own youtube channel and would like to be featured on my channel let's have a candid conversation email readingroom242 at gmail.com to let me know.